It's weird, I'm standing here across from the Statue of Liberty and the Freedom Tower. And everything that's near here is American flags and everything has the word liberty on it and the word freedom all over it. And I was just thinking how more than ever in my entire life in this country, I feel the least amount of freedom ever. And this freedom tower they built on the site where the government helped murder 3,000 Americans is, it's garish and it's creepy. I'm not even to the actual site yet. 9-11 remains a pivotal moment in our history. Everything basically changed that day. Dan, you were looking at a, obviously a very disturbing live shot there. That is the World Trade Center, and we have unconfirmed reports this morning that a plane has crashed into one of the towers. And as soon as the lie was uttered, it had to be defended and built up and protected. Strong indications that people linked to Osama bin Laden. There was a cell phone call, which according to the Associated Press and confirmed through the military, that was placed from this particular jet. They had box cutters similar to ones used by the dead hijackers. It had to be institutionalized and repeated by authorities to give it the appearance of truth. And the people who knock these buildings down will hit all of us soon. That immediately meant that the truth itself had to be exiled. Having never been to Ground Zero in person before, I really wasn't sure what to expect, but it wasn't anything like I expected. People were laughing and smiling like it was a theme park, happily standing in line around the block to pay $24 to have the official government fairy tale reinforced at the 9-11 Museum. This is the 9-11 Memorial Museum. Here. Just $24, you can be told the official line. It's almost as if they really wanted to do it because it would be comforting to them to be told this lie over and over again so the world can just keep turning the way they've always seen it and they wouldn't have to actually question anything or look beneath the surface, almost like it's a safety blanket. Very poor taste. Well, look, over there, there's the kiosks for the tours. Do they have a ride, too? It's very expensive ride. <laughs> Where does all this money go, you think? And some kid put a whole bunch of money in the donation box, and he, his mom was like, good job, son. It's like the Disneyland of mass murder. Having been here several times, including about 11 months after the attack and on several 9-11 anniversaries, it is strange to see how much this place has really changed. Everything at Ground Zero is almost completely different. The shiny new Building 7 opened in 2006. The Freedom Tower was finished in 2013. And now even the subway station is being redone. And this giant sculpture that looks like bones, like remains, hangs over the sleek new financial district. So, I totally broke your that's the World Trade Center. Like, New you Building 7. Someone explained to me the symbolism of this thing. What the hell is that supposed to be? Okay, so we asked and we were told that this weird bone-shaped structure is supposed to symbolize a dove. Which they're going to put a mall inside of. It's the transportation center in this area. It's here across from the Memorial Museum, directly across from the Freedom Tower, Building 7, and the footprints of the two towers. This thing that looks like bones. As soon as I saw it, it gave me the creepiest feeling ever. Guess what they're calling it? 
They named it Oculus, you guys. Oculus. It's the all ski eye. Oh my god. Oh. Here in the shadow of the so-called Freedom Tower, there are police and guards everywhere, and there are rules and parameters put on signs to remind you everywhere you go that you're not allowed to speak out. It's put there specifically to prevent protesters, to prevent the distribution of literature, to ban speeches, and acts meant to, quote, draw crowds. This is the National September 11th Memorial Museum. Collecting pools are over here. Check this out. Visitor rules and regulations. Prohibited behavior includes but is not limited to. Excessive activity that has the effect, intent, or propensity to draw a crowd except by permission. Demonstrations, rallies, soliciting leaflets. This is everything that the First Amendment and free speech isn't. Basically that first one is the First Amendment. Prohibited behavior includes but is not limited to your First Amendment rights. That's basically what this says. For years, 9-11 truthers, we are change groups, architects and engineers for 9-11 truth, first responder groups representing suffering and dying police and firefighters and EMTs, as well as grieving and angry families. They believe it's wrong to store the remains at what is primarily a tourist site. And even pro and anti-Muslim protesters gathered here to fight for meaning. to argue about what the truth is, and to wake others up to their point of view. Whether they were right or wrong. Look at this, sir. Everything in red from their pamphlet is wrong, completely wrong. No, I read Everything it. in blue, I read it. everything in blue is misleading, okay? The 9-11 memorial is now specifically set up to keep those freedoms away from this tragic and horrible place. Wow, so no free speech, huh? Demonstrations, rallies. Crime that was committed here! When will we honor the victims and the heroes of 9-11 by finding out who did it? When will we be honored? When will we be able to welcome free speech to the free country? When will we be allowed to address the big 9-11 for me? And since the terrorists supposedly attacked us for our freedoms, Americans are asking, why do they hate us? They hate our freedoms, our freedom of religion, our freedom of speech. Isn't it ironic that now Americans and visitors from across the world aren't allowed to come express those freedoms at the very site where we were told we were attacked for those freedoms? Oh, but you can follow the 9-11 Memorial Tour on Facebook. Wow. It's like they've turned Ground Zero into the Disneyland of suffering. My stomach hurts being here really bad. And as soon as I stepped foot on the property, my stomach dropped. And one of the muscles in my leg started locking up, literally as if my body was rebelling against that location. You can feel the bad, the bad, and they've turned it into some kind of theme park attraction. And that so-called Freedom Tower and the new shining World Trade Center 7 standing there side by side and just looming over the area almost look like a movie set. It looked fake. I could feel the darkness all around me. But nowhere was this feeling worse than standing around the footprints of the Twin Towers. Just giant black 
cubes in the ground where people gather around in a circle to watch the water continuously get sucked down into the depths of the earth. And that's supposed to be the monument to all of these people who lost their lives that day. footprints of these buildings. These things here are the creepiest. My camera was even playing tricks with the light, with the sunlight. It looked as if the light itself was being pulled down into the darkness. This entire World Trade Center complex blows my mind. How people can just merrily skip through that place is, is beyond me. The inside of this place looks like a spine. Dove, dove my ass, okay? This is not a dove, not at all. 9-11 itself isn't forgotten but it has been put in its place on the shelf. Not really to be talked about, just vaguely remembered. And everything is focused on the future and where the world is going. Well, it certainly isn't headed towards freedom. This whole place that for years remained like an open wound, just gated off holes in the ground that brought out raw emotions and prompted people to ask questions about what really happened that day, and why, and how could they, is now nothing more than a carefully packaged whitewashed commodity, there to take up space and deliver a commercialized lie about history, orchestrated to prevent the truth from being spoken here. Ultimately, it won't stop the truth, but is an affront to the truth and to everything this country is supposed to stand for. Just remember that authority is not truth. Truth is authority. It's like a monument against freedom and they call it the Freedom Tower. Isn't that just how they do?